My first meeting with Benjamin Britten's music was while I was still at school. Uh, his wonderful opera for children, Noah's Flood, was part of my school's centenary celebrations back in 1975. And uh, I had the great good fortune to be the rehearsal pianist for all the rehearsals and then to play the treble solo, treble recorder solo. Um, for the dance of the dove. I was so fascinated by his music. It was at a time where I had just started to study composition and I became really intensely fascinated by his music and the development in his music through his career. We did more of his um, vocal works while I was at school, of course, Ceremony of Carols and so on. I was very fortunate to have a teacher who was very encouraging in this respect and once I joined the profession it was clear for me that the works of Benjamin Britten were going to be a core part of my repertoire. In the last 20 years I've conducted a number of his operatic works as well as the War Requiem many times and many of his other works and I've also performed as a pianist his folk songs with the Australian tenor Steve Davislim and we recorded these a few years ago wonderful works and I think that is one of the things I treasure about Benjamin Britten is that one can take his knowledge of the voice and his understanding of the piano and of the instruments and put all these together. It's a natural development from his vocal music to his operas to his symphonic work. Benjamin Britten's music is a lifetime study and I'm thrilled to be about to perform Gloriana, a great work that gets seen far too seldom and this anniversary is a wonderful opportunity to look far more closely at the masterpieces of this extraordinary composer.